very high and young Rodney would, would interrogate me at some point in time, basically playing mind games or mind tricks with me, saying, snap out of it, Brian, or whatever, and whatever, like, like that, basically trying to get me to forget who I am. But anyway, I basically said, shut up. Your mind tricks or mind games won't work on me, which they really didn't. Well, they, you know, it took a lot more than just, you know, yelling into my face to, to, to actually change things. So anyway, though, like I say, I don't really care. Could have been anyone. So anyway, though, but um, basically, and pretty much all the Pentagon or White House was doing was basically saying that they were in control of my money, pretty much like that, and basically had control of my my finances. The only problem with that, of course, is that that control actually ended in in America. You know, they were the American government. They weren't the Chinese or Russian or or German or even even the 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 Gypsy government or whatever. You know, every community, every group had had their own little power structure and their own way way of making decisions. So basically, Nixon and JFK and, and other people found themselves in a very big problem. They were trying to say that they had control of my money, but they didn't. And Germany was more powerful and had more money and and, and actually had accurate record record books and record keeping. So anyway, and that's probably another reason why, why they wanted to stomp Germany or basically crush Germany was because they had the accurate record logs of, of all the finances and everything else. Who owed money and who owed what and how much there was and all that other stuff. And they were and they were in charge of basically bookkeeping and also you know, record keeping and also, you know, managing all the different places. You know, they were very advanced. And, and like I said, I was trying to change over to a computer system away from away from the old Abacus system and, and basically, you know, chalk on a board, you know, as as you know, it, you know, it's, you know, th products and, and quantities can fluctuate rapidly in a, on a whole planet where, you know, where you can't really keep up to it. You know, in the old days, they used to tally all the all the purchases, you know, the, the stock price would basically stay constant all day or, you know, within a certain degree. You know, that's why the stock market was only open for like, I think they, they had it open in the morning and then it closed for noon time for them to communicate and get all the stocks in and everything else like that. And then they reopened uh, later on in the afternoon or towards the evening time. So to get a few other trades in or whatever else like that. So anyway, though, and it was basically just just pretty much like a like a market, you know, you know, like it's like a it's it's like an auto parts store basically. You know, how many oil cans you need? Fifty. Okay, there you go. There's fifty. You know, that's all the stock market really was. So anyway, it's just a quantities, and they used to call it the, the old quantities market because that's all it was. So anyway, later on, we try and do a, a different kind of investment way where people can actually invest in companies and companies can use the money for, for, for furthering their, their company goals, like buying new equipment, buying new trucks, buying, uh, paying their employees and doing other things. So anyway, and it gets all complicated. Like I said, um, but unlike 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 other companies, Lucifer Star, me, you know, I basically, I was not based on that kind of a system, though. You know, we we farmed our own food, we invented our own stuff, and we built our own our, our own our own machines. You know, from 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 uh, from, from dirt to to to, to basically to, to basically end product was was the way I did things. Because you know, in in the real in real existence, you cannot just go up to North America and be like, "Can I have fifty trillion grains of rice, please?" My people seem to be starving. It doesn't really work like that, you know, because South America is like, "What?" Ah, uh, how many trillion people are you negative on for food? It seems to be about 120 billion. No, wait, 140 million probably people are going to starve this year. It was a bad winter. You know, you can't just do that. You, you, you can't just be like, oh, it's a bad winter. Oh, all the crops are gone. Okay. Hey, North America, you got, you got crop yields? You know, you can't really just do that. So, you know, it's like, well, guess your people are starving, buddy. You know, that's the way real existence really works. You know, either you can farm it and plant it and grow it, or you're starving, you know. So anyway, um, you know, and that's, you know, Lucifer Star Enterprises, me, basically, my company, my people, you know, 
we were in the real existence game, really in space, really on, on co- in countries, you know, and really had to feed a lot of people. At some point in time, I decided that it might be possible to feed everyone. So, anyway, and we, and, and Germany t- makes a go at it, you might say. So, and Germany is, was that powerful, was that good. So, anyway, and they start doing all kinds of amazing things, pretty much. And hit, and put it in high gear, as they say. Um, pretty much. Anyway, though, so, it gets all complicated and everything else like that. Anyway, because, you know, I own the country and I thought that it would be possible to provide houses and cars for everyone, which is, um, well, 7 billion people or 150 billion people. And that, well, that's a lot of cars. That's a lot of pair of shoes and that's a lot of clothes. So, you know, very much would require a a retooling up of basically all the companies and, you know, massive mass production, more than normal kind of mass production, but like epic production lines basically so that's another reason why they call it lucifer star lines you know because production lines shipping lines travel lines you know there wasn't much we didn't do or try to do basically pretty much unstoppable and thinking that we were capable of doing almost anything which maybe we were anyway so yeah and then at some point in time i retire so anyway like I said, I will never f- forget the people of Belfast, nor any of my great groups that worked for me or were a part of being a part of civilization. It's a lot of work, you know. It's a lot of hot hours. It's a lot. Of, it's a lot of days in a foundry. You know, it's a lot of days in down inside some stupid mine. You know, where you might die or hit a gas pocket or something like that and die. You know, and brave men, the best men that that the world had, had ever known. Like I said, many of my minds deserve to have plaques, and that's another reason why, why I posted the, the, the people who died in the newspaper and everything else like that, because, you know, they were dying for a reason. You know, I didn't want them to just be like, you know, just forgotten or lost. You know, in my mind, those were men that, you know, and plus, you know, it's people that I lost. You know, because a lot of those deep underground coal mines, those were my people risking their lives. Those are my people down there, you know, going deep. You know, and um, and so when accidents do happen eventually, and you know when they did happen, you know I um, I was there. So anyway, and at one point in time, I was trying to eliminate all accidents from the job sites or from the work sites because like 50 people or 60 people, you know, many of the companies would lose like 60 people in a year or 150 people in a year. You know, and it's like. Even though they're, they're big companies, you know, it's like, well, if that's happening at work, you know, that's the responsibility of me or my people. Like I said, even my exoskeletons had, had basically safety procedures and also limb replacement. <laughs> so anyway, but uh, things were a lot more simpler back then, you might say. <laughs>